Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another exciting early morning episode of Network Admin Life. Um, I had to come in early this morning to uh, move some power on uh, AT&T switch um, because it was not on UPS. Um, and every time our hospital switched over to generator power, uh, we would lose power on that, that device. So it's been moved over to a UPS, so it's good. That's why I'm in early. And uh, before I go on with what I was going to talk about today, I just want to point out that number right there. <laughs> That's how many more years till I retire. Anyway, all right. So what I thought I'd talk about today is another form of documenting your network, and that's um, how, how you document what's in your racks. Um, and the way I do that is, let me share something with you. This guy right here. There we go. Um, I use Excel. It's cheap. It's simple. Everybody has it. And so what I do is I'll I'll sketch out the rack. I'll just make one column with uh, the U numbers of the rack, and I put it down both sides just to give me a, a frame to to work within. Um, and then each each cell represents one U of rack space. Um, we just just widen out the the center cell here. Um, so it resembles a 19 inch rack. And that's what I do. I, uh, I use this to document my, my uh, rack space. I use different colors to denote different types of equipment. So for instance, these if, it comes, if it's a CERN or device or actually any kind of external uh, device, or in this case, Cisco, um, I use the color green for extreme. I use the color purple. I just use a very, Blase color for fiber management. Um, blue is generally Windows machines, uh, and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is document my rack the way I have it. I took some pictures, and I'm going to do this just to show you what I have in mind and, and how I do this. So I took a picture earlier of my my rack down there and I want to I want to document how it's set up right now. So I have one of my my uh new core switches is at U39 and 40. So I'm going to copy this. Go here to 40 and do a paste. Okay, 39 and 40, that's where my 8400 is currently mounted. Um I'd show you in the picture, but I don't think you can see it. <laughs> I can barely see it. Um, and I have one other core switch mounted right below it. We're going to have four core switches. Two are going to be here in the data center. Two are going to be down in the MDF. So those are the two that are down there right now. And uh, our goal is to move everything from these other racks over. So now I've got to find space for um, two AT&T routers. Um, my firewall that's currently here in the data center and some other um, firewalls that are that are down there in, in miscellaneous other racks, you know, down in this uh, where it says wall racks, rack two, there's, there's some other things down there that need to be moved over, so. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just start trying to rough in where I want things. So I need to find a place for two AT&T routers. I think I'm just going to pop those in up at the top. There's going to be two of those. I need to find room for my UC Davis router. Actually, before I do that, um, the more important stuff is going to be the Cerner, uh, Cerner switches. Um, they're our, our electronic medical records provider. So we're going to have a Cerner ASA, uh, their console switch, and one of their routers. So we need to make room for that. Since that's a 3U, you know what? I think. I'm going to put them up here. And I like to have a little 
a little uh sorry, a little distracted here. So there there's those. Sorry, they're taking a call over there and I'm I'm getting a little distracted by it. So anyway, I'll keep this short, but this is just a uh, just a good way to, uh, to document your rack space. Uh, it's good for help desk staff or any other junior staff. If you have to explain where something is, you can keep a copy of the spreadsheet handy either on the wall or you, you give it to them um, so they can find things for you if you need something rebooted and you just can't be there. Um, so something you might want to think about if you don't have any other professional way of, you know, if maybe you're using Visio, maybe you've got a dedicated rack design software. I just use this because it's quick and simple. I can I can give these to management. They can open up and open them up and see them. I can share these with others. Everybody's got Excel. So anyway, I'll just keep it short and uh, leave it there. <laughs> Sorry, it's really early. I am I am so tired. So as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button. Um, click the uh, little bell so you get notified when I put up new wonderful amazing content like this and uh we'll catch you guys later god bless and and we are done